Hi, I'm Angel at the Fairwood Branch Library, and today I will show you how to make comic book letters. The inspiration for today's video came from a blog called Mod Podge Rocks, and the name of the tutorial is The Easiest Way to Make Comic Book Letters. So, for today's project, you will need a few sheets of cardstock. Some sheets of comic book paper, a paintbrush, a pair of scissors, and some glue. You're going to trace the letter that you would like to create. So since my name is Angel, I decided to do an A, and you just kind of trace it lightly the type of letter that you want to have it's okay if it doesn't look perfect because we're going to cover it with comic book pages and you won't see it if you happen to have a ruler if you need to make straight lines that would help you make perfectly straight lines so first thing we're going to trace our letter after we trace our letter the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut it out as you can see, it's a little imperfect, but that's okay. Like I said, we won't see this. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is we want to figure out where on the letter it is that we want to place our comic books pages. And the way to do that is there's actually a couple of ways that you can do that. One of which is you can kind of just take a sheet itself and kind of Place your letter over it, kind of get a feel for where the character's faces or words are and where you want them to go. And you can kind of trace it with a light line and then cut those pages out. Or you can take a couple of sheets of the comic book and cut some of the faces out, cut some of the words out, however you would like to place them, and just kind of arrange them over so that you kind of have a feel for where you would want to go. Sometimes it's a little easier this way because the pages aren't so big. But you want to do that for the entire area of your letter so that you know how many pieces you need and where you're going to put them and where would you like for them to go. Okay, the next thing we would have to do is once you figured out where you want all the comic book pages to go, we have to glue the to the letter itself. So I'm gonna take the page of the comic book and a little bit of the glue. And what we're gonna do is that we're gonna put some glue on the back of each page, make sure they're uh, completely covered for the space of your letter. And then we just kind of wanna glue them onto the letter like this. Now it's okay if the pages are a little big we're going to trim them later on the only thing you don't want is you don't want the comic books to be too small because if they're too small you can see some of this white uh, cardstock on the back and we don't want that we want the whole letter to be covered with comic book pages so once you've completely covered your letter it should look something like this we want to have it completely covered all over the top so that um, none of the white car stock underneath shows. Now, once you finish, you're probably gonna have some pages that are a little too big for the letter and that's okay. For the pieces that are too big for the letter, what we're gonna do is, as you can see, the sheet's a little too big for my letter here. On the front, this is what I want it to look like. So once you've completely covered your letter, you're just going to take your pair of scissors and you're going to cut off the excess so that when you're completely done trimming, it's going to look like whatever letter it is that you wanted to use, which for me was the letter A. Once you've completed your entire letter, the very last thing you want to do is you want to take your glue and your paintbrush and just do a very light coat covering the entire letter. You wanna cover the whole thing. This will help keep the pages from coming up on the sides and help everything lay flat. Um, once you've completely covered it with glue, just 
give your letter a chance to dry. And once it's dry, you have a nice little comic book letter so that you can hang it up in your room or in your house, wherever you want it to go. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day.